All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another PGA Tour 2K23 Fantasy Course of the Week. I believe this is the 80th week we are doing this. So quite an incredible journey so far on PGA Tour 2K23. I think we got over 100 Fantasy Courses of the Week last time um, for PGA Tour 2K21, maybe. And maybe we'll get to the same in PGA Tour 2K23. But anyway, today we are playing Cactus Canyon Golf Course. And I don't know if this is based off like the Plants vs. Zombie Golf Course, because I looked up Cact Cactus Canyon Golf Course just to see if it was like... Um, if there was any information about it on Google. And the only information that came up is Plants vs. Zombies Cactus Canyon um, Golf Course. So I don't know if this is based on that. I don't have any information on the designer here because when I go into it, it, like the view designer is blocked out. So um, whoever, if the designer is, is watching the video, please do drop a comment. Let me know uh, any information you have if it is based off Plants vs. Zombies or whatever the hell. I'd be interested to see. Um, but oh, there we go. O Dope 2 Scope O. There you go. For some reason, I couldn't actually press View Designer, but here it shows the name. So that's a pretty um, a pretty cool name, actually. So let's jump in. Let's do this thing. Uh, I'm excited and delighted. Cactus Canyon Golf Club, baby. Last week, we had a bit of a disaster, but to be fair, it was one of the hardest courses I've ever played. Um, this week should be a little bit easier, I hope. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, we, we're going to have a good time, all right? And... We're just coming after ma the Masters, and we're going to be on a little bit of a, a low after the Masters, you know, because all weekend we're just watching the Masters, enjoying our lives, and here we're back now to the real world, but it should be fun regardless. So we got a 558-yard par 4 to start. Maybe uh, maybe it might, might still be quite difficult, <laughs> but to be fair, it is 463 foot down, so I'm thinking I could nearly go at the green. Not quite, obviously, but nearly, because it's not going to go 500 yards, but... Hell, it might go 400. Oh, there's a spicy little biscuit. A spicy little biscuit, says John. And that is a gorgeous tee shot to start. 400 foot of elevation here. And that is absolutely splendid. Don't go in the bunker. Don't go in the bunker. Don't go in the bunker, you saucy little minx. No, it's in the bunker for sure. What a, wow, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst place to be. It could be a whole lot worse. But yeah, Scotty Scheffler is your Masters champion. Um, I mean, I'll be honest. I wasn't rooting for Scotty. Um, I don't dislike Scotty, but um, I was rooting for Ludwig or Tommy Fleetwood or something like that. I was just hoping for something a little bit different, you know. Uh, but Scotty Scheffler is just a different animal right now. He's an absolute beast. Ludwig, I thought, was clutch yesterday, though. Um, solo second at the Masters in his first ever major. I'll be honest. That's pretty impressive, man. That could work. That could work real nice. Oh, what a shot. Come back around a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Thank you very much, sir. Could this be a birdie on the first on this 400, uh, on this 558 yard par four, rather? I'm selling myself short here. Looking pretty good. Yes, it could. What a birdie to start here, guys. Master Sunday is over, but Apex Monday has begun, baby. Come on now. Come on now. And sorry for the lack of content over the weekend. Um, I just like didn't want to upload too much during the Masters because I noticed whenever I upload during the Masters, at least at the start, it's always 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 for views because people are just busy watching the Masters, you know. Um, so they don't have time for this uh, for this little bullshit YouTube stuff. I know there's a lot of people that just watch the YouTube videos and don't watch the Masters and stuff, but um, I'd rather wait until like... Everyone's available and we're having a good time together here. Okay, so let's let's pump one up the middle here We got a 542 yard par 5. This is reachable if we go over this way beautiful first hole And I really like the, f the way the fairways are done on this on this green on this uh, course rather I love the I love when the fairways are like this. That's perfect tempo by the way I mean it's Ooh, a tiny bit slow, but that's real fairway. good. Um, I'll either be streaming I'll probably be streaming tomorrow. I don't think I'll get a chance today. So I'll probably be streaming tomorrow, guys. I'll be doing TGC tours and all that jazz, of course. So stay tuned. It should be a really good time. Now, three wood is going to be a little too much here. But I think I can make it work with a little bit of a, a little bit of a de-lofted. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Watch and learn. Somehow be okay. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst. <laughs> It could be a whole lot worse. That's fine. We can get up and down for back-to-back -back birdies, potentially. But yeah, Scotty Scheffler just closed the door yesterday, man. I had Ludwig backed each way, and I had Tommy Fleetwood backed each way, so I should get money on uh, on them, too. I usually don't do betting, but, you know, it's the Masters, so I wanted to do a better, too. 
Good chip. I thought it would be hard to stop short, but good chip. And this should be. So far, so good. And it is back-to-back -back birdies to start the day here, guys. It's a beautiful new week. The Masters is over. Um, but we have a lot to look forward to here for the rest of April, May. In terms of my content, in terms of uh, golf in general, we have uh, Valhalla coming up next, of course. We got the PGA Championship, we got the Open Championship, we got the US Open all in the space of uh, a few months. It's major golf season, and I'm going to be golfing in real life, doing real life golf content soon as well. I've got all the gear now, I've got the DJI mics, I've got, uh, I've got the camera, I've got the lens. Uh, I've got the tripod. I've got everything I need to record these course vlogs. I, I just need to actually get it done now. I need the weather to cooperate for a little bit. Um, I was golfing yesterday in real life. And I tell you what, um, ball striking wise off the tee, I've been miserable since my return. Since uh, returning from injury after the dislocated knee, I've been kind of tentative off the tee. I've been struggling. I've been playing the ball back in my stance more, trying to just ease it out there. And I've been pathetic off the tee. But yesterday was the best I've ever been off the tee. Or sorry, the best since my return I've been off the tee. I was stripe and driver over 200 yard carry, which to be fair in Ireland at the moment isn't too bad because the ball is not carrying that far because it's kind of cold. And, well, it's not even that cold anymore, but it's damp and it's just not traveling as far as it would in the summer, say. Um, but there was finally a little bit of roll yesterday as well. So I was I was hitting my driver a decent distance, hitting the three wood decent distances, and actually connecting with the ball well. Um, now, I did feel it in my knee yesterday because I was at the range the day before as well. It was probably a little silly to go to the range and, and then go golfing the day after. Uh, I probably shouldn't be doing back-to-back -back days kind of things. That's an awful swing. Um, might get away with it. I think this will find the putting surface. Actually, do get away with it. It's not that bad. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the only thing is, yesterday, I, I'm not even joking, I think I was 10 over through 8. Despite playing really, really well off the tee, and my irons weren't even that bad either. Like, I was hitting some good irons. I'm... Dude. So, I think I bogey the first two holes. The third hole is a par 5. I hit perfect driver, perfect 3-wood. Um, just short of the green, about... 80 yards, I would say. Um, it wasn't quite reachable in two for, for that day. Um, but I was b kind of behind a tree, blocked out by a tree. And I boned uh, my 56 degree. But somehow, the tr the you know those trees that kind of go like this? It was one of those ones. And it went directly through the Y. Went directly through the Y of the tr tree. I got so lucky. I got so lucky. And, and out over the back of the green as well is kind of dead. Uh, but I did go over the back, but somehow managed to stay on the grass. And I was like, holy crap, what a break. But I have a chip kind of across the grid. And what do I do? I just duff the chip. Straight up duff it. I, I make the worst contact you'll ever see with a chip. Uh, and then uh, just hit another duff chip right after that. So two terrible chips. I walk off. I hold a really good putt for a six, actually, in the end. Um, which... Come on. Sorry, sorry for all the talking. But yeah, I ended up holding a really good putt for a for a six, and I was like, okay, could have been worse. We're three over through three, but could have been worse because it was my first tournament, really, my first singles tournament. I was playing in the match play qualifier, um, and then we go on to the next hole, <clears throat> which is index one. The winds are high, um, and there's out of bounds all down the right on this hole. So I hit driver. I hit a nice low punchy driver, and I mean it couldn't have been better. It like it it. It did everything I wanted to do. It stayed low, stayed under the wind, and just shot down and, and kind of went around the corner. Um, avoided the OB and left myself. I think I had... That's perfect. That's perfect. I think I had a 6-iron coming in then. Um, and I hit the 6-iron so well. There's a bunker left uh, of the green. And it was fading back from okay, over the go. bunker perfectly and yeah, just caught the lip of the bunker and stayed the there and i was like you gotta be kidding me that is so unlucky i hit two perfect shots on this hole and and i'm gonna i'm gonna be in trouble so i walk up leave the bunker shot in the bunker i was right up uh kind of on a, an awkward la angle and then i hit the next bunker shot over the green um and walk off that hole with a seven so that's two holes in a row where I hit a really good drive and a really good second shot. And I walked off with a six and a seven on those two holes. So that'll tell you about uh, how my short game went. So I'm getting a short game lesson soon. <laughs> I was kind of starting to figure out my chipping towards the end of the round though. And that is just wow. 
What the hell is that, this man? This course is beautiful, though. I really like it a lot, actually. I really like the way the fairways are. This is three foot up. Holy crap, man. This is going to be a tough one. I think we can just kind of edge it around the, the fringe here. We don't need to go through it, though. That's so good. I'm not even trolling. That's so good. Oh, my God. Hit the pin. Hit the pin. Hit the pin. Hit the pin. What a pod! <laughs> All right. Give it a tap. What are we doing here, guys? How does that not go in? That looks so good. That looked so good, man. I'm trying the Frozen Bombsicle C4, by the way. It's actually really nice. I don't think it's as nice as the Twisted Limeade or the Pineapple Head, but I like it more than the Orange Slice. It's really good. Um, this is the fourth one I've ever had. People were telling me there's like some specific ingredient in these C4s that's not great for you, so I will be drinking them in moderation. Don't you worry. Um, and I might try those Smart Energy ones if they have them in the shop. I'm not sure they do. All right, I think I'll take a three wood here just because driver brings water into play, and there's no really there's no really need to bring that water into play. I don't think so. I'm just gonna take three wood over this little uh, avoid this cactus here, three wood over that gap there, and we should be fine. Yeah, slow, but that's good. Perfect. We'll take that. All right, we got 160. I think the 150 works here with a touch of Diloph because it's downhill. Use the slope a little bit if we need to. Awful. Might actually work perfectly, to be honest. <laughs> I'm saying awful, but that could be really good. Watch this go towards the pin. Not quite as much as I would have wanted. I wanted a big bounce there, but that's fine. And it's a good birdie chance to get the three under through five. We're going to try and have a good run at this one today, guys. I've been feeling like we've been kind of close to putting together a really good round, but just not quite doing it. It's getting there. there we go. Three under through five. Go Baby, let's down. go. By the way, guys, in real life, I'm going to start modeling my swing after Ludwig Berg. I'm, I just have to. Like that guy, I'm I'm the same same exact height as him. He's 6'3", I'm 6'3". Um, so that means that I can do the exact same things that he can do, right? Yeah, okay. Let's go with that. I wish. But no, like, I just love how smooth and effortless his swing looks. And when I was actually out yesterday, um, and kind of, I had been watching videos of Ludwig all morning, watching his thought process, his swing thoughts, and stuff like that, and he's so simple with it. Like, he was just saying, like, I don't really have a lot of thoughts about it, I just get up there and, and I hit it, I don't, don't try to overcomplicate things. And that's literally what I did, I just walked out there, and I, I stopped, because I've been doing this so much recently, where I'm like, oh, I'll do, go to the back, and then I'll pause for this amount of time, and then I'll kind of make sure to hands towards pockets, like, when I'm out on the course. On the range, that's fine, but when you're out on the course, I need to, you need to just lock in and start, um, start hitting the golf shots. So I just started kind of walking up to him, hitting him, and... As I said, it was the best I've hit the ball in a long time, so it definitely worked a little bit. That should be okay. Yeah, it is. So yeah, I need to listen to Ludwig more and just kind of get up there and hit it. And uh, I think that is a, would be a big benefit to a lot of people. A lot of people try to overcomplicate the game of golf. And golf is endlessly complicated already without having to overcomplicate it. So let's just uh, let's take some advice from Ludwig and just kind of do our thing, baby. That is so bad. Awful. Just an uh, an absolutely torrid swing there. It's not going to be the worst result in the world, but I mean, it's not not going to be good either. So third. we'll take a little flop shot here, I think is going to be the play. Um, I'm just going to hit the flop to be kind of safe if we can. I'm going to this part here where there's not that much around it because I just don't, don't even want to take that little slope down into it into play at all. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, long night, guys. I stayed up till midnight to watch the Masters. And midnight for me? That's a late night. I think it might have been just after midnight, to be honest. But, yeah, I got up at 6 a.m. then as well. So, I'm running on lowish sleep. No, I knew I wasn't giving that enough, man. That's a pathetic attempt, really. Like, I didn't even give it close to enough there. That's really bad. Really, really bad. But, three under through... Through six, it's disappointing when you par a par five. It always happens to me. Reachable par five comes when I'm playing well. Par! That's how I do it, baby! Par! But yeah, apologies for the rambling, guys. I just kind of wanted to get that off my chest with my golf game. I've just been, uh... I was a little frustrated yesterday, but, I mean, looking back on it, the grand picture, I think I don't really need to be that frustrated. I think we, I played pretty generally well, and um, if I can sort my chipping out, I think there's a, a lot of stuff to be excited about for the summer. Even though I was 10 over 3. 
There we go. Nice contact on that one. That is so good. That is so good. Be a hold one. No, no, no. Don't hit the down slope. No, you son of a bitch. Keep coming. Keep coming back. Don't go over. Don't go over, please. No. No, dude. That is so unlucky. That would have... Oh. I thought that was going to be so good, man. Yeah, it's going right. Yikes, oh, bad. man. That is unfortunate. Par. Okay, time to I guess you can't ball. complain about a park too much, son. You currently three under through three seven. Under it was a difficult par three, but we played it. We and played the shot left, the exact way I wanted to. That's what's disappointing about it. All right, I think with that win, I can clear this. I just need to make sure I don't hit it fast. Yeah, hitting it slow is fine. As long as you don't hit it fast. I like the way you work it. No diggity. Let's make a birdie here. We need to make a birdie, man. About Come on, let's go low, baby. Let's go low. Let's go low. That's so good. Beauty of a swing. Now come off that. Come off that left hill there to the right a little bit. Yeah, just like that, baby. Just like that, baby. We'll take that all day, all day, all night, son. Yes, sir. What? Did it turn that much? Bloody hell, okay, mate. This one for I, thought I'd, I thought I'd hold that, to be quite perfectly honest with you. I really thought I had that. I was saying, yes, sir. Really good start has turned into a bang average round now, unfortunately. We got a par 5, 645 yards directly into the wind, so it's not going to be reachable. Zero shot, this is reachable. Even with uh, the downhill nature of this. Especially when you're... Uh... No, actually, that's fine. Well, maybe if it's like a run-on. If it's a run-on, we have a chance. Oh, we, we might have a chance. I need to hit DOD, though. You must be feeling lucky. Taking why always on the par fives, man? Like, why? Why is it always on these par fives, dude? Oh, shit, it's still gonna get there? No, it's not! You suck! You suck, dude! Anything other than the slowest shot of all time! And we would have been fine there! You little Irish mick idiot! Come back off this hill. Dirty dog. Get in. All right. We'll take a birdie. Four Everybody stay calm. Left. I don't know why you guys are freaking out. It's a birdie. It's fine. Four under through nine. It, it, it could have been so much lower. That's the disappointing part about that front nine. Because we played pretty well. Uh, we played pretty stellar. But, yeah. A couple of those big slows are hurting me. I swear that happens a lot. Couple of the big slows, man. They they really harm my uh my bloody mental state is what they harm, to be honest. Stupid big slows, man. Alright, 542 yard par five. We got a lot of par fives here, actually. Uh, I don't think we can yeah, I don't think we can hit driver. I have to hit three wood here, unfortunately. And I'll have a bit of a slinger with the three wood. That should be fine. It's slow, but it should be fine. Is this reachable? Even if I hit three wood here, is this still does that make this reachable? 287. Second yeah. Shot on the Definitely, actually. Now, this might be too much, is my problem. I gotta de loft it. That could work. I hit it slow, but I also pulled it. How about in? Oh, what a shot. That's the luckiest shot you'll ever see. It's a beautiful eagle, though. It's a beautiful eagle. All right, this one for the eagle. Easy like Sunday morning. Monday morning. All right, birdie eagle. We're on the match. We only have one par five left now, though. And that's going to be the last hole. So well done there. We'll take that all day. Big style. Six under through ten, and we haven't even played that well. I'm the only one out on the course. People will probably start pouring in soon now once they realize the event is up. Is this a reachable par four? You already know. You already know I got to go. I got to go. Problem is, I don't think it is reachable with that wind. Especially when you're going there, the son. Green. Yeah, it wasn't reachable anyway, to be fair. I, if I'd done it, it would have came up short. So, I'm not that mad about that one, to be honest. Little flop shot. That is good. Zip, zip, zip. What a shot. Oh, baby. 
That is a, a touch of class right there. I had the touch of a geriatric sloth, as I said on Twitter and Instagram yesterday, in real golf. But here we have a touch of class. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, boys. I was post posting about the Masters all week. I'm the Apex Hound on X slash Twitter. Should be linked in the description. And I'm the Apex Hound 55 on Instagram. Um, I post videos of my swing and reels and stuff over on Instagram and TikTok as well. If you want to see, uh, if you have a TikTok, I'm the Apex Hound 55 there as well. Um, but I prefer like interacting on on Instagram, TikTok. I just use for reach. I knew if I knew that one the minute I I fucking this swung it was one of the worst swings I've hit in a long time. Man. Awful swing. From the green side I need to make this work somehow. Sit, zip with that spin. Come on, that's a great shot. Honestly, very good. The fact that we can get a par there is in incredibly impressive. Now, can we go bogey free? Is the question, or am I jinxing it right now in this very moment? Because I swear every time I make make a comment about a bogey, I bogey within the next two holes. All right, seven rounds through twelve. Good round going so far. This could be fun. We've got a par three on this. I like that there's so many like um, chances on this course. While it's also it's it's a very difficult course, but they have really good chances on it. You know what I'm saying? Better swing. That's the one I want. That's the one I want right there. That's perfect. All I needed was a little practice swing. How about a hole in one? Don't hit the down slope. Don't do this again. Why? Why does God hate me? It's going. Oh, it's actually going to come back down though, is it? It's a little unlucky because it was going right at the pin, but it's it's actually going to be completely fine now. And a good birdie chance. Yes, sir. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Eight under through thirteen Th plus three through one for Mick Rogers. He had a tough first hole there. To be fair, I could see. Uh, Having a tough first hole there. If you go at the green, green and think you can get there, and maybe hit it in the water if you hit it fast or something. All right, what are we doing here? Do I go for the path here? I genuinely think I could probably clear this, but I'm not even taking on the risk. It would be stupid to do so. Good shot. Really good shot. Don't kick hard. Don't kick. Don't you dare! Oh my god, I didn't even think that was a. Con I didn't even take that into consideration. Holy crap, man. I literally didn't even take that into consideration. All right, 14 mile an hour wind. I might use this slope rather than this one over here because I can actually run this one in a little bit at least. So I'm going to go right at the pin. No, you're not. That is just awful, dude. Well, unfortunately, Pathetic, mates. Right, let's get up and down for that par. We can't allow that curse to come through now. We can't allow that curse to come through, baby. Oh, we're on the limit. Looking good. Bang. Bang. No bogeys today, sir. No bogeys today, sir. Clean. Clean. Let's have it, sunshine. Let's have it. All right. Eight under through 14. We'll take it. Let's get to double digits under par at least. At the very least, I want double digits under par. All right. So let's get it up there. Put a little bit of height on this just so we can carry it up. That swing was. Thank God I did. Work. Holy crap! That's an that's a cool looking swing there though. I'd love to do that shot in real life and get a little bit of a drone shot on that or something. That's just really cool. Like I could see the good good camera with the cinematography they have of a shot like that in real life looking really really cool. Oh, I wish the pin was down here. That is a cruel pin position, man. Fifty foot up to. I have no idea what to hit here. I'm going to hit the 185. I'd rather be long than short, to be honest. Is this even enough? That's not. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really good. Oh, it's good. Damn right we're looking good, John. You're damn right we're looking good, John. What's up, baby? Huh? How you feeling? How you looking? How you doing, baby? Come on! Hair all over my camera. Sixteenth hole is upon us. Don't ever get huskies, Two guys. Hours. All right, we got we got a cool looking course. Oh my god, look at that! It's like a pitch and putt green for Christ's sake within a golf green. <laughs> all right, I am going two o 
205 with a little spin, I think. So I'm definitely not hitting bloody three iron. Slow. No, no, no. Don't hit the cactus. Don't hit the cactus. <gasps> We're fine. Everybody stay calm. Distance wise, wasn't too bad. It was just the bloody, uh, quite hit this green. big slow. Alrighty. Second shot on That's the so far past, unless it's in. So far past. I hit it very fast. Okay. Yeah, a lot of cactuses around here. This kind of does have some plants and zombies vibes, all right? I feel like it might be based off the plants and zombie, plants versus zombie game. Plants. I, I never played that too much, but uh, I know a few people who are really into it. I think Game Riot played it quite a bit, actually. All right. I'm going past the bunkers. I'm carrying it. Max spin. I'm carrying this bunker. Par four. That's not your best swing, but we'll get through this. Please, don't do this. Setting up here from the deep stuff. Third shot. Fuck me, man. This is some bullshit. What are we doing out here? What are we doing? Not the greatest of contact. What are we doing, man? Seriously. This one's your fourth Jesus. Shot. You choose now of all times to do that? Why is there always one hole, man? Why is there always one hole? Oh, now I had a perfect. How about in for the par? I mean, we might get away with a bogey, but oh, good lord, yeah, Turlock, what are we doing out here, man? Fine. Great work. Oh my. You suck! Well, let's just try to sink this one for the double. It's just all, it's, it's, there just always has to be a blow up hole. There always has to be one, man. There always has to be one. We just can't get through a round on a fantasy course without one, man. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Why do you suck this bad, dude? Looks like we're gonna be in the fairway. Okay, green. Does it look like that to you, John? Does it look like that to you? Thank you for your phenomenal input, John! Caught up in some no, brush. no! That was air! That was air! It didn't hit anything! It didn't hit anything! Third shot. <laughs> I'm doing the Triple H. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, we suck. And for a final score of 64 on the day. For a 64. Bang. Birdie putt on the last goes in, but the double is kind of a a bit of a sour ending, unfortunately. They call me sour ending, Ricky Fowler. 64. Not too bad, but the double killed us. It would have been the it would have been that double digits on a par round if we uh if we didn't double bogey it, but you know. If I was born today, I'd be an infant, so all right, let's go. There you go. Eight under round. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to drop a like. It's the best way to let me know you enjoyed the content and want to see more going forward. Um, I have a good week of content planned. Um, a full week of content planned. We are back and better than ever, baby. So, yeah, see you guys soon for more PGA Tour 2K23, EA Sports PGA Tour. Make sure you follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash the Apex Town 1. We'll be streaming TGC Tours and more over there this week as well. See you next time. Peace out, my friends.